Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Now we're going to talk about the use of default values in string slicing when we are working with Python. In a previous video, you learned how string slicing works behind the scenes when you pass these three different parameters, start, stop, and step. But you can use their default values as well if you omit one of these values. Let's see. The default value for the start parameter is zero. So by default, if you omit this value, the slice will start from the first character in the string, from index zero. In this case, we have the string hello world, and we assign it to the variable message. We'll be working with this string for the examples during the video. Then the stop parameter by default is going to be the end of the string the last character in the string. So if you want to include all the characters from a specific index up to the end of the string, then you just have to omit that value. And the default value for the step parameter is 1. So by default, we are going to include all the characters from start to end. Great, so now you know how these values are defined, but let's see them in practice with some examples. Remember, start 0, stop the end of the string, and step is 1. Let's see the example. We're going to print a slice of the string hello world, but we're going to use the default values. Let's say that we want to start from the first character in the string. We can either specify the value 0 as a start, or we can just omit it. Write in the colon, of course, to use the default values, you have to include the colon, and you just don't write any values before the colon. Then, to indicate where the string should stop, we just write the parameter after the colon. Let's say that we want to stop at index 5, and include all the characters that form the word hello. So we can do that, and what we are going to get with this technique will be the string hello. Let's save the file and run the code. Perfect, exactly what we anticipated. We get the slice, hello. We are starting from the first character in the string, h, and then we are including all the characters in between until we reach the index 5, which is not included in the string. That is why we specify it as the stop parameter. Right here, we were using the default value for start, but let's see how we can use the default value for stop. In this case, let's say that we want to start from a specific index, let's say 7, to start from the character w, and we want to include all the characters from that character up to the end of the string. We want to include this slice right here. We want to get this slice right here. We just indicate where we want to start, and then we use the default value for stop. We can do that by adding the colon and omitting the value for stop. We don't write anything, we just close the square bracket. With that, we will be getting this slice. Let's save the file and run the code. Perfect, we get the slice world with the exclamation mark. Because since we are using the default value for stop, we will include all the characters until the end of the string. We've used so far the default value for start and the default value for stop. So now let's see how the default value for step works behind the scenes. When you specify a specific value for start and stop, like this, for example, 7 and 12, so we can get this slice that says world. If we don't include a second colon and write another value, if we just leave it like this, with start and stop, we will be using the default value for step. And when we use the default value for step, we include every character from start to stop. If we want to customize it, we just pass a value like you learned in the previous video. These are the basic principles that we have to use to work with default values in string slicing. But let's see some different variations that we can use to combine their default values. A very common thing that we can do is to reverse a string, to get a reverse copy or version of a string. And how can we do that with string slicing? Well, we can use the default values for start, for stop, right here, and we can customize the value of step to be minus one. 
this will get a reverse copy of the string because we are starting from the last character in the string and we are including all the characters until we reach the first character in the string. That is what we do when we specify a step of minus one. And we are including all the characters in the string because we are using the default values for start and stop. We do this by writing two colons. The colons are basically saying, hey, star should be right here, but it isn't, so let's use the default value. And this right here says, hey, stop should be right here, but it isn't, so you can use the default value. And this third parameter is the value of the step. Let's run the code and see how it works. Yay, we get the reverse version of the string. Hello world, written backwards. We can also combine different default values by using the colons appropriately. Let's see this. If we want to start the string, let's say from index 7 to start from the character w, in this case, and we want to go to the end of the string, we want to include the characters from w to the end of the string, we can omit the value of the stop parameter. And we can even go further and customize the value of the step, let's say 2. This indicates that we want to start from index 7, which is w, we want to go all the way to the end of the string, including all the characters, this is what we get by adding two colons right here. The colons are basically like indicating the values that are missing or where there should be a value and there isn't right now. So we have to use the default value. And the third parameter is the step parameter, which is going to customize how we jump from one index to the next. We go from seven to nine, from nine to 11, and then we stop because we reach the end of the string. We can jump to indices to the right to get to the next character. That would be the end of the string. Like this, let's run the code and see how it works. We get exactly what we expected, W, R, and D. And just like we use start and step, we can also use stop and step with the default value of start, like this. Let's say that we want to start from age from the first character in the string. So we can omit this value and use the default value for start then we want to stop, let's say, at the character at index 11, at character D. So we want to stop at index 12. Remember that this character is not included in the slice. So we have to specify the index 12. And if we want to customize the stem, let's say to get a customized slice with H, L, O, a space, O, L, and we want to stop before index 12, then let's see what happens. If we save the file and run the code, we get this slice right here. It's important to understand why we get the slice. We start from the first character in the string, h, at index 0. Then we are going to jump to indices to the right, to index 2, which is the character l, right here. We jump to index 4, which is o, then we jump to the space character that we have at index 6. This is a space that you can see right here. Then we jump to 8, which is O, and then to index 10, which is L. After we get to index 10, which is L, we would be jumping if we added 2 to this index to index 12. And that is not permitted. Why? because we said that the slice should stop at index 12. And this character will not be included, so the slice will not contain this index. It will stop at index 10, like this. Great, so now you know the basics of how you can work with the default values of the parameters in string slicing. Great work. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos linked right here. I'll see you there.